What's up guys, Rulinel here, coming back at you with another Python tutorial, and we're back in action with Colorama as we were just a few moments ago, hopefully anyway, it's, it's really cool when you guys watch this videos, or at least these videos in a series, you know, like it's, like the way it's supposed to be, you'd watch one after the other, like if you're trying to learn a good amount of code or stuff about a module, you just watch one after the other, like potato chips, you just take one, you can't stop, and then you're dead eventually. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, in the last video, we played with some pretty funky stuff. We were making some blue and red colors, and we had white even, too. We had the American flag, and we didn't even know it. And uh, in this video, you know, why don't we do that? Why don't we make something funny here with, like, the American flag? Let's let's add some white in to our text. And uh, how about we actually used white as our background? And that's right, guys. We're going to be changing the color of the background now. And I'm sure you guys can uh, probably figure out how this is going to work. It's, it's very easy. Check it out. We've got all the foreground colors up here by using four as a little preceding thing before we actually change the color, a preceding, like, syntax or keyword. At least you can think of it as in that way. It really doesn't matter. But if we did this as well with the background, all we're using is back. And let's say it to be white, and we can add on to that everything else that we were working with prior. Now, if I run this inside of a command line, I think I've got actually, yeah, I've got the other one open. We can get rid of this one. Now, if I run Python thing, and I actually spell Python wrong, right, for once in my life, wow. This is colored text and more. You can see that this this blue is visible here. This is colored text, but it's on a white background. The red is there. The red's a little bit more easy to see. This is colored text and blue is a little awkward. It's a it's a weird color. The contrast isn't all that great with the uh, the white text. Or at least, sorry, the white background. But we've got options here. We're able to change the background at any moment. The same way we were working with the uh, foreground up there. Now you can see the errors still have that right up there, but once we break out of the program, we still have our typical color scheme as we would. We changed it to back dot, let's see, green. Make it a nice fancy Christmas color, <laughs> you know? Now if I run this one more time, this is colored text and more. So. Once, once again, once again, anyway, we have changed the color of the background and the foreground. We're still modifying the colors. We've got plenty of things to be able to do here, and it just kind of looks good. Like, you wouldn't typically be able to do this in a regular Python program that's just all plain text. So, uh, very, very easy, very simple. But all you guys really have to know is that back is what you're going to be using preceding the dot selector rather than for. And that's how you're going to be able to tell the difference, obviously, between foreground and background when you're working with the Colorama module. Okay. Very simple, very easy, but I hope you enjoyed this. It's uh, it's really great and handy to be able to have in your toolkit when you're working with colors inside the shell. Okay, uh, pretty easy. I've said it already, and I'm going to go now before I repeat things once more. Goodbye! <laughs>